Okay, so this is the um, web-based overview for the battery storage system. And we can see what the panels are producing, the house load, export to the grid and charge to the battery, which as you can see is really low because it's full, so it's in float charge. If we just scroll down a little bit, we've now got a chart and we're looking at yesterday, which was the 16th, as a full 24 hour period. Green line, solar production. Blue line below the horizontal battery charge. Blue line above the horizontal battery discharge. So we can see when the battery was full, which is what, around about 11 a.m. And we can see the battery was fully discharged in the evening around about 11 p.m. What we've got here is the solar and the battery working together and then just a little bit pulling from the grid. Then if we move on a little bit, what we're going to see is in the afternoon export to the grid because the battery is full, which is the red line above the horizontal. If we look at the previous date, it's probably going to be a very similar view, which it is. A little bit of cloud in the afternoon, but the solar PV generation very good. Battery charged fully by what, 11.30, somewhere around that. And then high demand when the sun has gone down, and again, battery fully discharged, 10 o'clock. This is a customer that needs a bigger battery, but we proved that he needs a bigger battery. This is today, so obviously you can see that we haven't got a full 24 hour period. Further down, we've got some more charts, so we can analyze on a day by day basis, solar production, battery, export to the grid, total consumption. A lot of information there from this system. Now, if we go on to the data, tab if we go to historical data we can see pages and pages of data now if we just open it up so we can see the times which is coming up now we can see that it sends a packet of data approximately every two minutes you can export that to your heart's content import it into spreadsheets and do whatever on the maintenance tab this is where we've got the settings. So we just load in the info. I was a bit quick there. Let's load it again. And it will come up and start propagating all the information. Let's now just scroll down to the charge settings. This is where we can define how much we want to charge from the grid and at what times we want to charge. And we've got three separate times we can set. We also have charge priority, which means that it will charge over and above, uh, for instance, an iBoost or an electric car. We can change that. Discharge settings, we can tell it to force discharge, not really required. And then down at the bottom, we can tell it what the depth of discharge is. So this system will stop discharging when there's 10% left in the batteries. If we were looking at power cut protection, we'd obviously set that a lot higher, as we discussed on the phone. So, just running through all the settings again, and you can see all of the changes that it's possible to do, which is why we can't really let people have access to this um, just for viewing, because they could go in and change the settings. Back to the main screen, again, we come back, we can see what it's doing. There is a manual refresh if you wanted to refresh it and it would then send another packet of data on there. Um, that is the Lux PowerTech in a quick overview. Thank you.